22 Australian dollars for breakfast, which was good. Look very easy. It's not. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's a nice temperature. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is our street. <laughs> We're gonna refresh, settle, and then go out for an explore. Are we thinking that? Yeah. Just kind of like get the lay of the land. Yeah. We're staying in Kensington, which I already love from being here for about three seconds. You don't realize <laughs> how poorly you slept until you lie in a bed. I'm not lying there until we go to sleep tonight. Oh. I've never felt fresher. Fresh clothes, slick back hair. Shower. Shower, freshly brushed teeth. I'm just boiling the jug because I'm making myself a cheeky bone broth to settle my stomach. You look dreadful. We look dreadful. I got a skin needling session done a couple of days before I left, so my skin is peeling so much, and I think the, the plain dryness really is not helping with that. I'm not sure if you can really see on camera, but I'm peeling like everywhere. It's not very good. It's like a snake. Oh. When it sheds its skin. Wow. <laughs> you really just go out to the terrace and the neighbors and the terrace is like right there. And the only thing that's helping you is a knee high fence. I said um, to Soph, like, if Soph was going to move over here, she'd definitely live in something like this. Like, cute little flat bookshelves. Bookshelves, I should say. Bookshelves, little TV cabinet, cute little bathroom down the stairs. And I feel like I would decorate it like this. Like, oh, it's yeah. so cute. Okay. I have my bread broth. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Serum me up, by the way. We're gonna do our serums and moisturize post flight. I took these in my carry on because they're exactly, well, full. They're exactly 30 mil, which is what you're allowed on the shuttle flights, but these oh, are like half. Is it 30? Yeah. That's they're both 30. Okay, mochi. So this one is hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and onsen water. And it's supposed to make your skin feel like mochi, the bouncy kind of consistency. I can't see what I'm doing. The bathroom's kind of like small, that's why we're doing it. Out here. Oh my gosh, that feels so good on my flaky skin. <laughs> and this one is the Algae Super Serum, which has. Uh, Erica told me how to pronounce it the other day. I think it's saccharin, which is an ingredient that is so incredibly hydrating. So it's perfect for post for a post flight skincare session. <sighs> that feels so good. Feels fresh. Slick back hair, skincare. Mm -hmm. I feel very fresh. It's good to be back. Back in London. Back to my bone broth. Back, oh, back home. It's weird. Whenever I come here, I feel like I'm like, not coming home. That sounds so cheesy. Well, you know when you just go back to your, your like home, you feel so like, oh, like now I can finally relax. Like I'm home. That is how I feel when I come here. And I don't know why. Also, if you did ever want to try out any of the Keto Skin products. Did you bring the exfoliator? Uh, yeah. Sam packed the exfoliator, which I'm very proud of. I didn't exfoliate today because I think you're not supposed to exfoliate for like a week after you get the skin needling done. I highly suggest the bundle. The premise behind all Keto Skin products are how hydrating they are for the skin. The exfoliants are gel, so it's like super, super hydrating, not stripping in any way, not harsh. And then the serum is obviously incredibly hydrating as well. I also always have a discount code with Keto if you did ever want to shop any of their products, which is just Soap 10, but I'll link it all below. I don't think there's actually many other things that compare to having a shower after a long haul flat. Never experienced is that for? That was my first long haul flight. Sucked. <laughs> <laughs> p.m. Sam has just it's really loud. Sam just basically fell asleep while talking. He crashed that quickly. I'm feeling tired, but I think I want to try and push through until about nine. Just to hopefully really kind of like get into this time zone. So I've come and sat outside. I'm currently uploading. I'm trying to anyway. Upload a video, but it's been uploading for like an hour and it's on 16%. 
I'm kind of speechless. That is not real. I kind of feel like I'm in the middle of Magnolia Parks, The Parent Trap, Harry Potter, anything set in London ever. I brought a whole array of things out with me and I'm having a great time. I've got my headphones, I was just listening to some music. I've also decided that I want to keep a travel journal of our trip. Just kind of like keep a journal of the trip and then also keep all of the little little mementos like tickets and things and stick them in. So I've got a little pencil case with some glue and some highlighters. I'm just gonna stick them in. I'm gonna make a bit of a scrapbook. I've also brought my Kindle out. If I want to do some reading, I'm just going to keep my laptop open, hoping that my video uploads. I've made myself a tea and I found this chocolate, which I know we have this brand in Australia. It's called Nomo, but I've never seen this flavor before. Anything sold to caramel has my name written all over it. I've only had one piece, but I'm going to keep stacking on it while I sit out here. It is so good. It's just like a dairy-free caramel koala. My video's on 18% now. Okay, let's stick these in. been utterly blessed with this weather today. did you love? I love. What are you rating it out of 10? We got just udon which you saw not the katsu curry from my Mama's. that's like the classic I mean ramen. Ah! Yeah you keep saying udon but it's ramen. I know but did I just say udon then? Yeah and you okay. said it before. Oh okay. Guys. <laughs> Sorry we nah, got ramen. ramen. Udon noodles ramen. It was just great. It was a yeah, it was all-round good. great experience. I rate it like an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? The vibe was good. Would you believe that it is past 9 p.m.? 9 o'clock. This is 9 p.m.? Crazy! And we've been out since 5 this morning, so we woke up. I set my alarm for 8, because I was like, oh, if we sleep in, like, that'll probably be good. Also, look at our Airbnb door, I love it. So the alarm's for 8, just in case. Woke up at 5, wide awake, like, ready for our day. So it's been a long day, really. 5 till 9, pretty yeah, impressive. It's been a long day. Just like an easy dinner to today because we've done quite a bit of walking around. I want to check how many steps we've done. What's your guess? Oh, 20. Oh, well, I don't know. It's hard to tell because I love the day you went with me. That's true. It's definitely above 20, I reckon. Oh, Ooh. 18, 987. 18, 8, 7, 6. Ooh, that's close. That is close. And we both had our phones on us all day, yeah. Yeah. I love this place. You've seen kind of what we've done today. I had Pilates at One Rebel this morning, which was so good. It was one of the best reformer Pilates I've done. It was like so dim lit and like a really cool, a really cool vibe in there. And it was just nice to like kind of like move my body after sitting down for like 30 hours straight over the travel day. I did that with Soph and then we went out to brunch at Sunday in Brooklyn, which is one of my favorite cafes from last time we were here. And then we went to the Portobello Road Markets, had a bit of a wander. We will be staying in Notting Hill at the end of our trip. So I was like, oh, I don't need to do anything too too well because I'll be back. Came back and then we went out for another walk. We actually went to Tesco. So I was very excited about. I just really wanted to go to a supermarket. Yeah. I wanted to like walk to the supermarket and mm. see what was different. Mm. They had these awesome like, you get the scanner at the yeah. start and you go around and as you put your stuff in the trolley, you scan it like you would at the register. And then you just, and just tap the thing at the end. Tap the thing at the end and walk out. I was like, <sighs> genius. Then we actually went over to a Westfield just yeah, to kind of have a bit of a look around. And it was the biggest Westfield oh I've God. ever seen in my entire life. It was massive. massive. And we just, yeah, did heaps of walking around there, had a bit of a look. Then we came back, got changed 
and then went out for dinner. And yeah. now it's past 9 p.m. It's like yeah, 9 It's 9 30. We're already in bed. It's still freaking light. Yeah. Perfect first day. I feel like this first bit because we basically like obviously landed in London at the beginning of the trip and then we're doing kind of like five weeks of Europe and then we have another week in London at the end so I feel like there's a lot of things that we if this was the only time that we're going to be here we would be like getting like fitting it all in but because we know that we've got that last week in London I feel like we're just taking it slow just kind of like resetting and doing like little bits which has been quite nice actually just to kind of like chill and not feel like we need to like rush and get heaps of stuff done at the beginning weather wise this morning it was eight degrees when we woke up so it was freezing when we were walking around and then it hit like 11 and it just suddenly got really hot and warm i've also had a video uploading for 24 hours and it's just finally finished uploading so i'm gonna have to sort better wi-fi throughout this trip that's for sure but yeah a stunning first day this is my outfit it's not really a full mirror so you can't really see i've got my jeans from levi's this little top is oh i think glassons it's like a little plain rib top and then this big oversized blazer is south street and then i've just been doing the slick hair it's also been like kind of windy and i just feel like this is the perfect way to just like get it out of your face and know that the wind isn't going to ruin your hair you know but i think i will wash it tonight It looks crazy, but it's 7 a.m. We woke up about 6 this morning and we are going to get ready and head out to, I think, Grange Room Co. for breakfast and head over to like the Belgravia Knightsbridge area. And I think the plan for today is to rent some bikes and ride them around Hyde Park and see like Buckingham Palace and Big Ben and just like a bit of the touristy attractions. I'm very excited. Good morning. <laughs> oh, that was very loud. Morning everybody else Good too. Morning everyone. It's a beautiful morning. It's actually like it's, it's actually not too cold. It's about ten or eleven degrees, but it's very still. There's not there's no wind. No, and that was what was really making oh, it cold. The yesterday. wind's freezing. Very still this morning. I love how quiet it is. Like there is no one on the street. Yeah, it's a nice little area. The Airbnb we're staying at is like a what, two hundred meter walk to the oh, train station? If that. So it's just so handy. Like it's just so good when after you've had a big day you don't have to like have a big walk home from the from the train station, you know. I highly recommend this Airbnb. B. I'll make sure to link it in the description box because it has been it's been perfect actually I couldn't fault it anyway we're off to break this is the fit of today a trench is Zara thermal is Uniqlo jeans are Levi's bag is Uniqlo as well this thermal was a great decision oh okay Sam's doing his outfit of the day please tell us the off-white box from Universal oh I didn't show my shoes I'm wearing white Reeboks and I love them continue okay Gym Gymshark Oh, no. City Beach. Oh, the bag. Uniqlo. <laughs> Been the satch lately. Yeah. Gives you peace of mind that my stuff's not going to get pinched out of my pocket. Yeah, they're very secure. It's like, just sits in and front of And they're also, here. they're $19 each. But like, you don't worry too much this about them, This is not sponsored you know. by Uniqlo. I wish. This is our local. Because this train station is also the end of the line. It's always quiet, which yeah, is also no really very yeah. ideal. Kensington Olympia. Look at this weather. We have been blessed. The fact that it's not windy is really making me very happy. This thermal, I also feel so toasty in. It was a great decision. Riding bikes around for quite a while. Yeah. Probably like an hour and a half ish. And it's been so fun. We 
started around like Buckingham Palace area and then we rode past Big Ben and then we just what was the bridge? Uh, tower. tower yeah tower Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge? We just rode over Tower Bridge, like across it. We were like, no, it's too scary, we're not gonna do it. And then we kind of just had to do it, like we committed and we just did it and it was so much fun. It was so cool riding like underneath it. I actually don't know the exact area we're in. There's a sign next to me saying London Bridge and Waterloo this way. It's sort, sort of getting the hang of it, like if you just commit on a bike, people let you know. Yeah, I mean? like, you there's just, so many people bike riding. You just go. Yeah. Bikes yeah, have right away there. and cars just wait, it's weird. Yeah. And anyway. no one wears helmets, it's kind of crazy. I reckon it's a 23 minute ride back to Victoria. Anyway, so we've just been cruising. There's bike lanes everywhere as well, which is so, so handy. I think we're gonna try and bike back to Victoria. Sound good? Yeah. But it was so cool, we've seen like all of the attractions just on bikes. Yeah, that was really fun. I love it. I'm glad we did that. Sam's for Shake Shack, are you excited? I had Shake Shack in America and it was so good. And we're very hungry. We've been riding up an appetite. Yeah. Oh, the crinkle cut fries are so good. Yeah. everything sorted for the morning we have a taxi picking us up at 4 30 a.m tomorrow morning so that's really fun then we're catching a train from london to amsterdam but we did try and find like a later train but it was either really early or like, really late at night and we only have two nights in amsterdam so we wanted to kind of make the most of the amount of time that we could have there hoping to be in bed in the next hour to then hopefully get a decent amount of sleep tonight we're both very very tired but i will start a new vlog in amsterdam so i thought i would end this vlog here i really hope you've enjoyed this little first bit of travel i hope you enjoyed watching the journey here and a little weekend in london and i will see you very soon in Amsterdam.